Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. It's summertime and of course we're fishing every day this time of year. I want to show you my little underwater camera program. That's what we're doing here today. We're going to try to get some footage of some salmon, uh, taking lures and bait and whatnot. And uh, you can see these housings. I built these myself. This have a knockoff camera in there. That's a cam pack. Um, I don't know what's on the other side, but these are just inexpensive cameras. You turn them on, let them run, and uh, you'll notice the gear is snapped in really close. This water it's pretty murky, so you got to be snapped in really close to capture anything that goes on down there. But I've got this one rigged up. I've got this one going with a spoon. We're going to run these little spoons for a while and uh, hopefully capture some footage of king salmon coming up and getting hooked up. So here we go. That's a nice fish. You're live. It's a good one there. Caught that one at uh, 17 feet. <laughs> oh, look at him go. Clipped in, what, two feet behind the flasher? That one's still going. Oh, he's a little pissed off. Yeah, that fish is not happy. This king took a big run. One thing about those flashers, they definitely deaden the fight, but man, those fish will just turn and burn on their first couple of runs, getting away from that flasher, you know? Every time they look behind them, there's a flasher there and they want to get away from it. But I think we got this fish pretty well tired out now. Oh yeah, here it comes. Let's see what we got here. Yeah, nice king. I think that one will go in the box. Oh, nice early season. King right there. Look at that. A tiny little spoon. Beautiful early season spring king right there. We're gonna barbecue that with some friends here in a couple of days. I'll bleed that thing out, and that that king will be absolutely delicious. There. Yeah. Awesome. I don't see if we can't catch another one for Eric. Record. These cameras are a little tricky to get going. Okay, that one's going. We'll get uh, we'll get clipped in there on that one. There we go. The only problem with this is you got to clip in so tight to the release. Otherwise, I mean, this water is pretty murky. You just don't see anything. All it is is just a blur back behind. So. You gotta get it just like right up to the camera. When the water's really clear, it can really pose an issue because the fish just won't hit. But today, we've got pretty murky water in here and uh, gosh, we've already got one. So let's try to get another one on camera for y'all. This fish just took off right when it bit. Just started screaming. He's slowing down a little bit though. We're, we're gaining on him. He's just coming towards the boat. Well guys, we just dropped down the gear and no joke, 30 seconds later, we just hooked up. Caught him on this nice little Ouija spoon and yeah, I mean, just like that. Oh, there he goes again. <laughs> yeah, there. Here we go. Okay, sweet. Okay. 
There you go, a little action there today. Uh, managed to get a couple of fish coming in right on camera and hitting these spoons, and we gotta see them come right in on the gear and hammer it, rip it off the clip. Cut some nice fish. Thanks for watching today. Catch you next time.